Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy King Sir Seven here back with another video. Before we get into this video, I just want to remind you all that they're all kings and queens. And I hope you all are having a very, very, very blessed day. I'm back with my second mock draft. My first mock draft. I just wanna hold on. Let me, let me just slow down real quick. The first mock draft, the support, un incredible, unbelievable. And I like how a lot of you guys put your different opinions in there. You know, you educated me. And I also appreciate that while you were disagreeing with me and trying to inform me on your team's plans and what you think they're going to do, uh, I, I appreciate how you guys were mad respectful. Nobody was like, yo, you're an idiot. You're so dumb. You're so stupid. You know nothing. You know, I respect, you know, which is two grown men having a having a sports conversation. And, and I, I really do appreciate it. I probably said I appreciate it like 17 times in the last 10 seconds, but I do. But here we are, my second version. And there's a big, big change up, man. There's big changes. After the Jets just won their first game of the season, the Jacksonville Jaguars now hold the first overall pick. And honestly, I think I'm happy for Trevor Lawrence if he goes to the Jaguars. I think it's just a much better overall situation in comparison to the New York Jets situation. So let's get it started. And as always, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe on this video. You know what I'm saying? But let me just put this out there. Feel free, again, to disagree with anything I say. Feel free to send me links to articles. Let me know what you think your team's going to do. Let me know if you like the pick I gave your favorite team. You know what I'm saying? It's always a discussion in the comments. I'm always going to respond to all the comments. You know what I'm saying? But first overall pick, we already know the deal. Number one overall, Trevor Lawrence to the Jacksonville Jaguars. Honestly, if Trevor Lawrence goes to Jacksonville Jaguars, they got one win this season. I think they could go up to five six wins next year with Trevor Lawrence and also if they get their second if they get the rest of their draft correct and they sign some decent free agents but here we go the New York Jets uh if I was GM but th this is only if I was the GM obviously I'm not I'm not qualified to be an NFL GM but if I was the GM what I would do with the second overall pick I'm trading down I'm trading down I'm trying to collect as many assets as possible right but a lot of people, I saw a lot of experts out there, experts or whatever, who they are, expert scouts, whoever they are, right? Whatever, I don't, you know, what even determines that you're an expert in the, in the topic, you know? Just because you've been, you've been writing about it for years, because you've been watching the game for years, it's, you know, does that make you an expert? I don't know. But I saw a lot of people still saying that the Jets are still going to take a quarterback at number two. I don't know, I just think Sam Donald's, you know, you know, maybe he could uh, turn it around. You know, one time a Jet fan, one of my boys told me, about two years ago, he said, two years from now, Sam Donald's going to be top 10 quarterback. I don't think that's ever going to happen. But, uh, all right, let's just say they take quarterback, right? <clears throat> if they're not going to draft. I think they either trade down or they take quarterback. I don't think they're going to Justin Fields. And a lot of you guys were, you know, saying that performance he just had this past weekend was not the best. So, uh, I think they go Zach Wilson. Zach Wilson goes number two to the New York Jets. I think that's just more of their type of guy. Um... Yeah, I think Zach Wilson. I think they're gonna go Zach Wilson. Number three. Now we still. Now it's like we're getting some more familiar picks. We're going Panay Sewell to the uh, the Cincinnati Bengals. Of course, we know Joe Burrow. He needs help on the offensive line. They need to get their running game with Joe Mixon or Gio Bernard has just been absolutely atrocious. So they just need help on the offensive line in over in, in totality. You know, the rest of their offense is pretty solid. They got a decent tight end play, good receivers, good running back. You know. Uh, next, number four on the clock, the Panthers. I had them taking Micah Parsons at number six. And a lot of you guys were telling me that there's no way they'd pass up on Zach Wilson. I think that's why I had them passing up on. Um, now that Zach Wilson's off the board, who do they take? Do they take Justin Fields at the number four spot? Or do they do they rock out with Teddy Bridgewater for another year as a starting quarterback? Honestly, um, you can see quarterback isn't even that high on their team needs. Number one need is linebacker. Michael Parsons is still here. What do I think the Panthers are going to do? I personally think they're going to take Michael Parsons. But do I think they should take Michael Parsons over Justin Fields? Let's just do it for the draft. The Panthers fans in the comments will tell me they think they should take quarterback. Let's have them take Justin Fields. There we go. Three quarterbacks taken in the top four picks. Now we got number five. The Falcons, they did what they do best this past weekend, below another 55 to nothing lead. And it was to Tom Brady again, a familiar opponent where they uh, they choked away a lead. Who would they take, though? They need a linebacker as well. They need edge, linebacker, quarterback, uh, running back. Who do they take? I think they take Micah Parsons here. 
Micah Parsons or Gregory Rousseau? Hmm. Who do they have at linebacker? They have a really they have, don't they have a good player? Or maybe he was good. He's not. He's not good anymore. Here we go. Trusted Google. Pretty sure he was solid, right? Falcons linebackers, or maybe he's a free agent. They're not gonna resign him. Uh Deion Jones. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking about. Let's see. Is he a free agent? What's going on? Twenty six years old. What's his contract looking like? Are uh, you guys in the comments? Let me know about Deion Jones' contract. Maybe he started off good in his career. And, you know, he's kind of gone a little downhill. So, you guys let me know. But I think I think they take Michael Parsons over Gregory Rousseau. Uh, just sure up that leadership on the defensive side of the football. Have a good play call or stuff like that. Uh, number six, we have the Miami Dolphins on the clock. And I, I'm not switching the pick. I got them taking Jamar Chase, what I think is the best wide receiver in this class. Get to a, a real number one receiving option moving forward. And here we have the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, linebacker, safety, cornerback, wide receiver. I think they need to take wide receiver. I think they just absolutely have to. Jalen Hurts played absolutely amazing against the against the Saints and then against the Cardinals. Uh, he's looking really good. He looks like the guy that's going to be the future of that team. Uh, Carson Wentz already said, he was like, if I'm not the starter, I'm trying to be out. Who's going to trade for you? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, the Eagles are going to be taking in my mock draft. I had them taking Jalen Waddle and then Devontae Smith to the Giants in my previous mock draft. Eagles fans told me they think they should take Devontae Smith. Devontae Smith has gone down in the rankings. He was 13. He's gone to 15 now. Jalen Waddle is still at 10. Um, all right, let's have him taking Devontae Smith. Mm, I don't know. Devontae Smith with Jalen Waddle. Let's have him taking Devontae Smith. Last time I had him taking Jalen Waddle. Let's see who ends up with Jalen Waddle this time. But I think you guys are going to get a number one receiver right there. A uh, really good connection with him and Jalen Hurts. Now we move on to the Dallas Cowboys, who beat the San Francisco 49ers this past weekend, as many of you know, most likely. Um, which, still the guy that I had them taking, Patrick Sertain, is still here. But do they go edge? D-Law hasn't been doing his thing. Nah, they're going cornerback. They're still going Patrick Sertain. You still need help in that secondary. You get a third, what was it, 41-38? to 38. The final score, that's just crazy scoreline. Here we are with the uh, Los Angeles Chargers. I had them taking Gregory Rousseau last time. Do I have them taking Gregory Rousseau again? I think so. If you look at all the other options, they need offensive tackle. Maybe they go offensive tackle, Samuel Cosme, but I still think overall they're not going to re-sign Melvin Ingram. So I think they go again with Gregory Rousseau. So honestly, if you look at the first nine picks compared to my last mock draft, uh, actually, they're not similar at all. I think I have one, two, three. I have four out of the top nine picks that remained the same. So things have shaken up quite a bit now we have the detroit lions you guys are gonna get a stud you guys are gonna get jalen waddle did i have him i think i had them taking a different receiver last time uh who was it? who did i have them taking they didn't take i had jamar chase jalen waddle Devontae smith go back to back to back who did i have them taking last time they go to the receivers did they take terrace marshall no nah, didn't they? who did i have i don't i don't remember i don't, i don't remember who i had them taking last time that's fine i don't even remember everything in life you know although my memory is pretty nuts why is it not letting me exit out? All right, here we go. Why is it running back now? Oh, I got to go down to all. There we go. Now we got the San Francisco 49ers on the clock. You guys were telling me they had to take quarterback. They have to take quarterback. Let me let me talk it out with you. Let me, let's me let discuss. Let's discuss. Do I see them taking quarterback? If I was a betting man, you know, occasionally a sports bet. I dabble here and there betting, you know. But if I was a betting man, if I had to bet on this, I don't think they're going to take quarterback. I just don't. Somebody did send me an article about how one of the one of the prime best scouts or something went to go watch Zach Wilson play at BYU. So they think that Zach Wilson is going to be going to the San Francisco 49ers. But I don't think he's going to last till this pick. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think they take Trey Lance. No, I, I think what like what's Jimmy G's record as the San Francisco 49ers starter? I understand. My biggest concern, honestly, is his injury history. It seems like he's injured quite often. But if you take that away, like, his last healthy season, he went he went to the Super Bowl, you know? Like, we can't just forget that. So I think they're going to go, I think they're going to go Caleb Farley out of Virginia Tech. I think they're going to go Caleb Farley, Richard Sherman and him. They're going to be a nice duo. Now we have the Denver Broncos. Somebody also had, didn't think that the Broncos would give up on Drew Locke just yet. But Trey Lance is a stud, man. I'm, I, I said it last video. I'm going to say it again. I think he's going to be the second best quarterback, probably most likely behind Trevor Lawrence in this draft. I'm very, very high on Trey Lance. Um, and I do think, I mean, listen, 
Uh, Trey Lance, I think he's just a good quarterback. Like, is there guarantees that there's going to be another Trey Lance in the next draft? We don't know. Do the Bron? I, like, this all depends. Like, I'm. I don't know how the Broncos feel about Drew Locke. Like, are they really high on him? I know. Like, I feel like he's like a kind of a fan favorite. It's like funny videos of him. He's like always enthusiastic, dancing on the sideline. You know, uh, he's liked in that aspect. But I still think they take a quarterback. I think they take Trey Lance. So do we have five quarterback? It was one. Two, so we got four quarterbacks taken in in the top twelve, and now we got number thirteen, the Giants. So you know what? They should take quarterback. Nah, they're not gonna take quarterback. They're gonna obviously take an edge because Minka's not here. I mean, what am I saying? Minka, Micah, Micah Parsons is not here. None of the top three receivers are here anymore. I think they're gonna go edge. They're gonna go Quiddy Pay, Adam Michigan. It's a solid selection. You know, I can't complain at all. Now we have the Minnesota Vikings. I mean, my Giants. Play pretty bad against the Browns defensively speaking. So Quiddy Pay will be a very, very nice addition. That's definitely that's probably by far our biggest need edge rusher. But we have O'Shane Zimenez and Lorenzo Carter, neither of them like they they both injured for the whole year this year, so we don't even know what's going on with them. But we have the Vikings now on the clock. Interior offensive lineman, interior defensive lineman, their two needs. Uh don't see them taking Kyle Pitts, don't see them taking a tackle. They might take a tackle though, honestly. Edge maybe corner maybe wide receiver no way interior offensive line i think i had them take wyatt davis last last mock draft and nobody complained about it so i'm gonna go with it again you're fulfilling your top need wyatt davis out of the university of ohio state now we have the patriots on the clock and this is i figured it out this is where kyle pitts is gonna go because you know all those patriots you know they had that duo of uh you know uh gronk and aaron hernandez you know um they're very very big on tight end play and i think regardless of who your quarterback is going to be next year i highly doubt it's going to be cam Newton. i highly doubt it's going to be uh jared stidham i don't know who it's going to be i can't tell you right now but maybe carson wentz yo what if carson wentz went to the patriots that would actually be pretty solid and you got a tight end because we know how much carson wentz loves throwing two tight ends i think bill belichick could negotiate and robert Kraft could negotiate a nice cheap bargain for Carson Wentz potentially maybe like a third third and a fourth or second and a fourth something like that I could see happening but I think you trade for Carson Wentz and then you pick up Kyle Pitts Kyle Pitts did just announce on like Instagram he was like yeah I'm out peace peace Florida it's been a real it's been a real ride Florida had that crazy game against Bama the other day uh now we have the Chicago Bears on the clock do they also take a quarterback I mean, oh, that's the wrong thing. Quarterback, who are the quarterbacks? I think it's just Kyle Trask and Mac Jones. I, th- I have them taking Kyle Trask. I think I had them taking Kyle Trask last mock draft. But, um, I mean, dude, I don't know what's going with Mitch Trubisky. He was a pro bowler in his career at one point. Um, he got benched. What was he, 4-1 and one when he got benched? 3-1? I don't know. You just the, the Bears aren't doing him any favors. They're not instilling any confidence in him. If you guys are an athlete, you know how much confidence plays into your performance uh, now we have number 17, the uh, Oakland, Oakland, yeah, all right, Las Vegas Raiders. They take an edge again. They go in Joseph Asai. I'm pretty sure I had them do this last time. Is Marcus Mariota the future there? Nah, I don't know. It would be cool to see more. I was a fan of Marcus Mariota. Who did he come out with? It was Marcus Mariota and Jameis Winston, I'm pretty sure. And I think, like, they, they, someone put a tweet out, like, a screenshot, like, Mike, Mike Mayock. Uh, the Las Vegas Raiders GM. He was like a huge fan of Marcus Mariota. He was like the top-ranked quarterback. So they were like, oh, he's going to be the new quarterback. But I, I don't know. We'll see what happens there. Now we have the Ravens, who I did take taking wide receiver last. I'm going to do it again. And somebody said they kind of did like my selection of of Terrace Marshall. But I got them taking Rashad Bateman. I think that's what someone commented. They were like, I think Rashad Bateman will be a better fit, but they would be happy with either of these receivers. But let's give him Rashad Bateman, the 20th ranked prospect, taken at 18 by the uh, by the Baltimore Ravens. I think it's just a solid selection. Now we got the Washington football team. Who knows what their name will be in the future? But it says they need a quarterback, offensive tackle. What I have them taking last time? Did I have them taking quarterback or tackle? I might have had them taking tackle. They go with a receiver, too. They need another weapon besides Terry McLaurin. I think Logan Thomas is a pretty solid uh, tight end. And then they got Antonio Gibson at running back, who I think is a very, very good player. They got J.D. McKissich as the pass catcher running back as well. Uh, quarterback. Do they take Mac Jones, though? Like, is Mac Jones a guy you would take at 19? He's a 62nd ranked prospect. I feel like once, like, the combine comes out, you know, people get to fully scout these players, these rankings and stuff, they're going to change, you know? 
But as of right now, I don't think they take quarterback. I don't think they take Mac Jones. I think if I think Ron Rivera is a man of his word, and he said it wasn't Dwayne Haskins, a bit like on a in inability to lead the offense. He just said he's not known familiar with the playbook. You know whatever that means. I don't know if he's just lying. Um, I just I don't know. You got Dwayne Haskins, Kyle Allen, Alex Smith there. It's a decent quarterback room, you know. Is Mac? I feel like Mac Jones is just, you know, he's just another one of them, just average at best, maybe. So I don't think they take Mac Jones at nineteen. I think they go offensive tackle Samuel Cosme out of Texas. If you guys are watching football team fans out there, any disagree with me, comment it down below. Now here is where probably the worst pick I did in this whole draft. I think I gave the Cardinals Christian Derisaw. Like, why? He said the tackle wasn't even here, and then I messed up and said, and I'm pretty sure Justin B was a tackle, but he's not a tackle anymore. He's a guard. Then you guys told me Beecham and Humphreys and another guy, Jones. I think Jones. Well, I've been playing good at tackle. So not taking tackle here. Then they need corner. You told me two of the three corners are going to be free agents. So let's give him J.C. Horn out of South Carolina University. A uh, really good player. Now we move on to the Dolphins for their second pick in the first round, who do they take? They need linebacker. I gave them, I gave them the same two picks back to back times. But you look at it like they don't need tackle. They need running back. They have like five like decent running backs. I feel like whoever they plug in at running back, they just do good. Nah, but Bridges is the two. Miles Gaskin and Salvatore Med, both very undersized. So who knows if they can stay healthy? Hopefully they can. Never preying on anyone's misfortune like that. But let's go linebacker again. Jeremiah Ousu Koromo, linebacker out of Notre Dame. Now we got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I had them taking who I haven't taken. I take I hadn't taken Eric Stokes, I'm pretty sure, but I'm gonna go edge this time because but who's the top edge rusher? Is there not an edge rusher here? It's Aziz, it's Aziz. This guy I keep trying not to have him go first round, but he might. I think he's creeping up there now at this point. But I was gonna give him another edge rusher because I feel like corner, like they blitz. I'm pretty sure they blitz the most out of any NFL team in the league. So if you're going to blitz, you might as well have good people going after the quarterback or talented players going after the quarterback. So I might give them Aziz. Aziz Ojuri. Or do I give them like who else? Jay Tefili. Maybe interior defensive lineman. But I feel like they're good on that. Let, let's, uh, all right, let, let's get risky. Let's get different. You know, let's get different. And let's get, have them taking Aziz out of Georgia. Comment that down below what you guys think about that. Tim Bay Buccaneers fans. I know that might be a little different. Uh, you guys might not like that, but, you know, I think it could be solid. And now here is where I have Eric Stokes going to the Cleveland Browns. Pair him up alongside the man Denzel Ward. Denzel Ward is an absolute demon. You guys know that. He's a very, very, very good player. I had them taking Sean Wade last time, so they got a player that's ranked 10 spots higher. Now with the Colts, still I don't get why quarterback is the biggest need. Um, I don't understand it. Uh, we'll have him taking tackle, Christian Derisaw. Um, I mean, they do have, they already have a good offensive line, a very good offensive line, and they're just making it even better. Whether it's Phillip Rivers or a rookie behind center, you're going to need to have a good offensive line to keep them healthy throughout the entire season. And here's where I think I just had tackle, 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 go back, back, like back to back to back. And we're going to do that again. We're going to put Rashawn Slater going to the Jacksonville Jaguars. You just got the man, Trevor Lawrence. You struck gold. You won the, you won the lottery. Um, and you got Trevor Lawrence, and now you got a tackle alongside to protect him. And now we have the New York Jets on the clock. You're, you're folded by winning the game. I saw Mekhi Becton. He's like, yo, you're not a real fan if you're rooting for us to lose. Bro, <laughs> Trevor Lawrence is a generational quarterback. This guy doesn't come around every every year in the draft, you know? So Mekhi Becton, shut your mouth, all right? Jets fans have already suffered enough. Don't tell them that they're not a real Jets fan. But they need corner, edge, wide receiver... I don't know why running back so low. Uh, we, we, do I give him Najee Harris or Travis Etienne? Honestly, I think I saw like Harris broke what like a bunch of like Alabama running back rushing records, and like we already know the running backs that have gone through Alabama. The only one, you know, Trent Richardson obviously was the best. Obviously not, but uh, I don't know. I've seen people trying to say he's like better than like Derrick Henry already, just because like his pass catching ability and stuff like that. Listen, I'm uh, people like to talk a lot. People like to make hot. They take. They they think they're making hot takes, 
but two years they end up freezing cold takes so i'm not going to tell you Najee harris is going to be the next derrick henry or anything close to him but it is a compelling argument argument you can make between these two players i'm going to give him travis etienne because you know these experts these scouts that watch you know film and stuff like that they have him ranked higher so i'm gonna just give him the higher player but you know i wouldn't be surprised if the jets took Najee harris as well now we got the tennessee titans on the clock with the 27th pick, and I don't think anything's changing. I think I'm pretty sure I had them taking Jay Tufili last time, and I got them taking him this time again. Now we got the 28th overall pick, the Buffalo Bills. They're looking like the real deal, man. As the season goes on, they continue to get better, and I'm telling you, they might make a sneaky. Honestly, I think they're the second best team in the AFC. Like, I think they're better than the Steelers, and I think they're better than the Browns, and I think they're better than the Titans. I don't know. I don't care if they've lost them before. If I had to say in a playoff game, I'm taking. I'm, I'm betting on the Bills. I like Josh Allen a lot, man. That defense is good too. Cornerback, linebacker, offensive tackle. Who would they take? I think I had them taking a corner. Sean Wade. Is that where I had Sean Wade going here? Who's their other wide receivers? They got just a bunch of random guys. Cole Beasley is very good receiver. Good, very good slot receiver. Don't get me wrong. But I might go offensive tackle here or linebacker. Or do I go corner? I don't know, man. This is difficult. This is really difficult. You know, a lot of these projections and, and mock drafts also depend a lot on who these teams like trade and sign in free in the free agency period. So right now I'm gonna go with Zaven Collins out of Tulsa going to the Buffalo Bills. Now we actually have the Saints whose number one need was actually linebacker. I just had the the Bills take linebacker. Let's go back to like linebackers. Let's go Nick Bolton for the Dude, honestly, hold up. I wish I could redo that pick. But they just took Zach Moss. And they have Devin Singletary. But I think Najee Harris would be a pretty good spot for Buffalo Bills. Just get the other two guys out of there. Have Najee Harris be the number one running back. Uh, but for the Saints, I think I got them taking another linebacker. We could take, have them taking Nick Bolton out of Missouri. Now we got the number 30 pick. We have the Pittsburgh Steelers. They need tackles, the number one thing. Liam Ectenberg, again, my man. Now we got the Packers. Somebody got mad that I gave him Rondell Moore. He said it was like a reach. So let's take a look at the wide receivers. We got Terrace Marshall Jr. here. I don't think this is a reach. 32nd ranked player, and you're taking him at number 31. Got to give Aaron Rodgers some help once and for all. Let's go, Aaron Rodgers. You got yourself another weapon. So what we got? It's going to be Terrace Marshall, Alan Lazard, Devontae. You got Robert Tunyon. You know, it's not bad. You know, Jamal Williams, Aaron Jones, they could pass catch out of the backfield. So Terrace Marshall Jr. is going to be very, very, I think he'll be like a steal in fantasy, honestly, if he goes to the Green Bay Packers. And now with the final pick of the first round, we got the team who I'm projecting. I'm pretty sure like everyone's projecting to win the Super Bowl again this year. Uh, the Kansas City Chiefs, they need an interior offensive lineman. And I think they're going to take the man, Elijah Vera Tucker. I don't really see any. Let's just mess around and see any other teams. Any other team, I mean, any other players, not teams, any other players that they would take potentially? Nah, I think I think it's got to be Elijah Vera Tucker. And that is going to be the mock draft. If you guys want me, I think my next mock draft, I might do like a midweek mock. Because I'll do these mock drafts every Monday. But I might start doing like midweek uh, mock drafts that involve trades. Uh, but if, uh, while you go, you can scroll down this mock draft. Uh, things that stood out, you know, the first two picks, Trevor Lawrence and Zach Wilson. Then you got Justin Fields going forward to the Panthers. Uh, anything else? Let me see. Trey Lance to the Broncos is big. Kyle Pitts to the Patriots. Kyle Trask to the Bears. Uh, Rashad Bateman to the to the Baltimore Ravens. And we got Travis Etienne to the Jets. So a lot of good players out here. Tra Terrence Marshall Jr. If he goes to the Packers. Watch out, man. That's going to be scary. But, guys, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to comment down below. Whatever you disagree with me on, whatever you do agree with me on, if you want to keep educating me on your favorite team, why you think they might take a certain player or a certain position, feel free. I'm all down. You know, I'm on, I'm on winter break. I don't got a job. I'm just out here making YouTube videos, trying to entertain. So, if you want to send me any articles, obviously, I'm going to read them and take a look. But, if you guys did, overall, just enjoy the episode. Or the video, I should say. Make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. It's been your boy, King Sir Seven. I'm out. Peace.